today we're going to talk about milk. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of milk from when Megan was pumping. Now, today we're going to talk about how much milk we use. This is the new milk that Megan puts out, then we freeze. Some of it we donate, some of it we use for Dottie. This is the milk we had from March, March 2nd, when they came. Put one of those into the fridge. We give, if you're talking about milk that she gets to drink, she gets 20 milliliters five times a day. How much is 20 milliliters? Well, there are 29 milliliters in an ounce, so 20 milliliters is about two thirds of an ounce. So total for the day, she gets about 100 milliliters she gets to drink. So that's just over three ounces, not even four ounces. Yeah, if it's up to cans, 12 ounces. So it's about a third, a third of a can. And what else? She gets two. Three milliliters, now we just bumped it up from two to three. Three milliliters an hour, continuous. So that means a really slow drip of milk into her G2 for 20 hours a day. So that's another 60 milliliters. So all in all, she gets about 160 milliliters of milk a day, which is what? Just over five ounces. Six ounces? Just over six ounces. Almost a half a pitch can. What did they do it? Yeah. How much was it when we started? Uh, oh, at the very beginning? very beginning, she got, oh, like five milliliters a couple, three or four times a day by mouth, and one or two, two was a lot in the beginning. For, we started with one milliliter an hour continuous when we were in the NICU 24 hours. That's kind of a big deal then. Yeah, we're, we're doing great. great. She's doing great. We're not doing anything. She's doing great. This is how much milk we put in her kangaroo bag. And this is 25 milliliters, is that right, Megan? Yes. So it's 25 milliliters. So she gets 25 milliliters put into her bag, but that's not how much she actually gets. We give her three milliliters an hour. So of this 25, she's only getting 12. 12. The reason she only gets 12 is because mother's milk goes bad after four hours. So since you only have three milliliters pumping per hour, it's just three times four. Then we have to change the milk four hours later. And we hold the prime. See the milk go through. Follow right through the tube. Round the cup. Yeah, this is exciting. This is every day here. Mickey, the end. And yes, it's literally called the Mickey. M I C K E Y. See? Mick. See, that's the mic. And this is the key. And it's considered the key. So it's the mic key. Key. Mic key. Key. Uh -huh. So we prime it all the way to the end. Okay. You got stuff coming out. Okay. And then we hook that to little Dottie. Alright, so here we are. And Seth is going to prepare Dottie's Lovinox shot. Lovinox is technically an anti- coagulant, commonly known as a blood thinner. We use an insulin needle and we have to put it in her fat two times a day, every day at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. First step, as is with most things, you have to disinfect the top. So as usual, you wipe the top for 15 seconds. Oh, nice. Okay, that's 15 seconds. Set it down. Now you let it dry for 15 seconds. Get the needle ready. Next up, stab it. Flip it up. I usually turn this light on. Sorry if that messed up your camera angle. So I can get 11. Make sure you get rid of all the bubbles. So I like to squeeze it all the way through one more time. Then I go down. Make sure I get rid of those bubbles. Sometimes this takes me two or three times. 
Okay, go to 11. You may want to look away now. You first prep the skin area. This takes 15 seconds to clean the area. And then you give the shot. Poor little Dottie's had these shots so many times that often she never even woke up for them. Squeeze. Make sure you get a good squeeze. Put it in. And done. After we give the Lovenok shot, then we take the Mickey and the prepared milk and we put it into her G-tube, which is connected to her stomach. Take one off. Yeah. Click it in, lock it up, then make sure you press run on the machine. And that concludes this episode of The Dotty Life. Thanks for watching and have a great week.